Welcome to art class. This week we are going to make mini artworks that are going to be the cover of a greeting card. And your greeting card can be sent to anyone that you want. I don't know about you, but during this quarantined COVID time, I've been keeping up with some of my friends away from technology and been sending cards and letters and things in the mail to my friends and my family, my grandfather, and anyone who I feel like needs a little boost of love. So we are going to make our own greeting cards today that you can send to someone that you love or miss as well. Our greeting cards this week are going to be inspired by the fabulous artist Charlie Harper. He's a pretty incredible man and he has created quite the legacy in art. Now, unfortunately, Mr. Harper is no longer alive, but we can still cel celebrate his creations. He is best known for his artwork of animals and birds and he has a really specific style called realistic minimalism because he noticed that whenever you saw animals in real life you didn't see their individual pieces of fur and strands of hair and individual feathers you mostly just saw their specific lines and shapes that make up their basic bodies and forms which is what we try to look for all the time in the art room whenever we create our artwork. So he's our perfect inspiration. Now we are going to focus on one kind of bird today and make cardinals because there's nothing better than seeing a bright red cardinal outside on a cold winter day or especially when it's snowy, then they really pop. And we're going to make those cardinals in the style of Mr. Charlie Harper. To do that, we are going to do some cut paper artwork again, just like how when we did our monsters. So the art supplies that we need today are one piece of paper that will be the background of your card. I would suggest using blue or purple or black, something nice and dark. Then to make our cardinals, you need a red piece of paper, a yellow piece of paper, and a black piece of paper. Now they can just be scraps from your scrap bin. You don't need the whole sheet. Finally, you need your glue and scissors to cut out and glue together. And you're going to need some sort of writing utensil like a permanent marker or a crayon to put all the line details on that you want at the end. You could even make some snow. So grab a white crayon if you have that and we can put some, some snow on our pictures today. So to get ready for our Charlie Harper inspired greeting cards, grab yourself a big piece of dark colored paper, a red, black, and yellow construction paper, some glue and some scissors, and a marker. Once you have all of those art supplies, come right back here and we will fold our card and cover the outside with some beautiful bird pictures. See you soon. Miss Morningstar actually had to get a little inventive because I didn't actually have um, some of the major stuff I needed. So just like you guys, I'm being flexible today as well. So first thing you needed was a black marker um, to do your line designs and a pencil to draw your shapes. Hopefully you grab those. You also need a pair of scissors and your glue. So maybe you're using your glue bottle from school or a glue stick, whichever works. And then finally you needed some paper. So we need red for our cardinals, yellow for the beaks, and black for their little face mask part. Now I didn't actually have full pieces of paper so I had to go in my scrap bin and I found some small black scraps and some scraps of red and yellow. Um, so full pieces of paper don't quite matter. And then you need a background piece of paper for your card. The example I had on my board was blue, but I didn't, that was actually my last piece of blue paper. So I'm gonna use purple this time instead. So you could use purple or orange or black or whatever background color you want for your card. So 
start with your background color piece and put it in front of you this way so that it is horizontal then all we're gonna do is take that piece of paper and fold it in half laptop style so take that over left to right line up those corners really well friends and then hold it down run your finger across to the crease and then crease that really good you can even use the back of your fingernail to crease it perfectly so now you can double check that you did it right if you can open it up like a laptop now you can decide if you want your card to open this way and be a tall card that can stand up like a tent later, or you can turn it and have the opening on the right hand side like a book and have a nice tall card. You can decide. I'm gonna do a nice tall card, I think. So my card is ready, perfect. Set that aside and now get your colored papers again. We're gonna start with red, everybody, because red is the color of our cardinal, which are beautiful, beautiful birds. Now to make our cardinal's body, um, we are going to make a teardrop shape, okay? And actually, we don't want our markers, we wanna use our pencils, friends. So draw yourself a teardrop shape on your red paper. So it starts like a triangle and then it's rounded at the bottom. So I start at the top, do a diagonal line down, Get it gets wide, I do a scoop, and then I come back up to the top. Now mine got a little bit loopy there at the top. That's totally fine. Now you can do one cardinal or more than one. It's up to you. So there is my cardinal's body. And while I'm here, I'm also going to make a triangle shape. So I'm gonna squeeze a triangle to be a tail back here too. So I've drawn a teardrop and a triangle. Now let's cut them out. All right, teardrop, triangle. And you can see your triangle, friends, is gonna be the tail of your cardinal bird. You'll be able to stick it on either side, left or right to be its tail. Let's make the rest of our cardinal now too. The next thing you need, friends, is the face mask of the cardinal. So grab your black piece of paper. I just have a little scrap here, but it'll still work. And you are gonna start at one of the edges, a flat edge of your piece of paper, and just do a long, tall U. And hopefully your U will be about as wide as the face there. So you can see how wide that is. So I'm going to do a U shape. Hopefully you can see that in my pencil. There we go, there's the shimmer, and cut that out. A long, tall U. Look at that, even scraps work perfectly. Great, so that will go right there on my bird, touching the edges of my teardrop to be his little face mask. The last thing we need, friends, is our yellow bird beak. So on your piece of paper, I like to go for a corner to make a square. So I'm gonna go at the corner and draw the two other sides of a square and then cut that out. Easy. Then I'm gonna flip it over so I don't see my pencil lines and that will be my little cardinal's beak. You can kind of see how those four very simple shapes are starting to make my bird. So let's glue it all together. Now remember to open your glue bottle, you wanna twist that nose so that there's a space right there, perfect. And then check for Mr. Glue Bottle to breathe. Bingo! So now I can use my glue and do my dot, dot, not a lot trick to glue everything down. I'm gonna glue the beak down. I'm gonna do three little dots. One, two, three. Perfect, plenty of glue. I'm gonna glue that in a diamond shape right on top of that black face mask. Give it a careful little press. Then I'm gonna pick that whole thing up flip it over and on the back of there put three dots one two three then flip it over and put it right on my bird perfect 
now, friends, I can put my bird right on my card shape, my bright red cardinal on my purple card. It's opening there on the right-hand side. My cardinal's gonna go right there in the middle, and I'm gonna put some glue on the back of him, too. Now, this time, I'm going to do a line of glue that outlines. We've done this before, so I'm gonna outline a finger width away from the edge, not a lot, and then flip it over glue him down. Really press him to make sure he sticks. Now final thing friends is his little bitty tail. So put a V of glue on your cardinal's tail just like that. Flip it over and now watch. I'm gonna take this point and tuck it behind my bird's body. It's just tucked right back there. Yours can be on the left or the right. It's up to you. And now I'm gonna lay it down. Excellent. Give everything a nice press and a massage to make sure it sticks. You're all done with the glue. Now let's make this look like Charlie Harper's cuteness with our little details for our birds bodies and some extra fun bits. So grab yourself your marker and let's make this look like a minimal bird. First thing friends, Let's put a line right across your yellow diamond for the beak. Perfect. Our bird needs some eyeballs and Charlie Harper always put little circles and I'm gonna put my little circles right near the corners of my half circle and it's actually off of my cardinal's face but it'll still read his eyeballs. Cute. <laughs> All right, next we need some wings on our birds. So you can either do straight lines or curved lines that are in our red cardinal body. It curves over to the side, there's this wing. And if you wanna add some extra wing details, put a few more circles. Great. Now we need another one on the other side because birds have two wings. Scoop, 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 cute. And let's put some texture and some lines, some straight lines on our tail feather as well. So going from the top of your triangle to the body, let's put some stripes. Lovely. Our bird is almost done. He has a beak, eyes, wings, and a tail. Now he just needs his little leggies. This is my favorite part. To do our little leggies, we're gonna do straight lines down off of his body. So this time we're drawing off of the cardinal's body and onto our background, friends. Straight lines. Birdies have little knees, so we're gonna put little circle knees just like our eyeballs. And then they have fun little three or four footed feet. So add those lines for feet. Oh, cute. There's my cardinal. Now, friends, you can add whatever extra details you want. A lot of times when cardinals and birds walk around in the snow or in the ground, they leave little footprints. So I'm gonna make some little cardinal footprints by doing a line with a V at the end. See how it looks like the foot? And I'm gonna put a bunch because birds move around a lot. and they're going all different silly directions. Cute. The other thing you might wanna add, friends, is actually if you grab an orange or red marker, you can put some dots for some bird seed on the ground to show what your cardinal is trying to eat. So I'm just using my marker and putting some dots. And you could even draw some bird seeds or some sunflower seeds if you want to, any other kinds of seeds that you want. So there's some brown sunflower seeds that are also on my ground. And they're just ovals, pretty easy. After that, friends, if you wanna add some snow, you totally can. You can grab yourself your white crayon and you can put some snowflakes in the sky around your bird. If you have black or dark blue paper, your snowflakes will also turn out really nicely. I could put some snowflakes on the ground. There's lots of busy things at the base of my cardinal. Cute. 
And there we have it, friends. My cardinal card is complete. I have my teardrop, my triangle, my fun details, and it's all glued together. Now, friends, you can open it up. Oh, look, it went through a little bit. And add whatever message you want right here. You could send a holiday card. You could send a I'm grateful for you card. You could send an I love you card or I'm thinking of you and put it in an envelope and mail it off to somebody that you love or miss. It will definitely bring them a smile. Before you do that and send it away, please take a picture and upload it on Canvas so I can see your beautiful creation before you send it away to someone you love. Don't forget to sign your name at the bottom and let them know that you're thinking of them. Great work, friends. Yay! Tweet, tweet.